following is an audio excerpt from Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo, by John Abdo. Preparing to fight. The trumpet sounds, and the herald announces, Milo of Croton, make way to the Skama. Instantly, Milo recognizes the unique sound of the horn, and more specifically, the familiarity of my voice. He realizes I've qualified as lead fanfare, and leaps out of his relaxed position. After stomping his feet onto the grounds, he heads out of the warm-up yard and begins to approach the archstone corridor. It is at this instant when Milo identifies yet another familiar scent. Along with Diotimos, Chiopinen had caught our stored upon one of Croton's cargo ships that arrived in Olympia a day prior to Milo's vessel. The father and grandfather had intentionally concealed the pet until Milo's walkout for his first official wrestling match. Delighted to see Kaaragio, Milo hugs his bull's massively thick neck and whispers in a good-humored tone, Let us show off your muscles. Then the artist cannot make you look skinny. Chiapinon encourages his grandson, Carry your bull into the arena. You need a good warm-up before you wrestle the toughest youths in the world. As Milo squats under Kaaragio's belly, Chiapinon continues, Let all the world witness your Herculean powers. As 20,000 spectators cram their bodies next to one another upon the grassy slopes, I proceed to sound my horn a second time. Bound by intense expectation, the crowds anxiously stare into the long stone corridor. Within moments, the light at the end of the tunnel suddenly blackens. As thousands of hearts beat at accelerated rates, fueled by the deafening cheers generated from the gathering, the cause of the blockage begins to reveal itself. Stump after quaking stump, the feet, legs, and torso of the Crotonian steadily appear, and the clanging sounds from the crowds immediately dispel all the rumors and silence all the naysayers. Milo of Croton finally steps out from the arch tunnel, amazingly holding the full-grown bull across his back, and after bellowing out a thunderous roar, Croton's chief wrestling representative proceeds to carry the massive bovine beast around the entire arena, thrilling every last one of the screaming fans. Pit of Sensation As the spectators' minds are consumed with Milo's pre-event ritual, something they can only appraise to be in an act of God, Milo tethers Kaaragio to a post, then inspects his opponent's testicular dimensions while collecting the airborne scents with his olfactory sensors. He quickly detects the hormonal potency excreting out of his opponent's pores, and delineates the strange athlete's psychophysiological constitution. As his phlegm and apparatus goes about its tasks, his visionary sensors discern microscopic gesticulations in his contender's eyeballs, cardiovascular and respiratory rhythms, and melological gyrations. Regardless of the perspiration-inducing heat pouring down from the August sun, Milo senses intrinsic cellular frictions that emit abnormal thermogenic vapors, the result of his opponent's hyperagitation. Within an instant, by peering beneath their muscular facades, Milo can ascertain his opponent's conditions long before stepping into the skama. Those he deems as honest competitors, Milo will strive to throw to the dirt three times without imposing intentional harm. But for opponents he senses to be true adversaries, opponents who are sons and grandsons from evil lineages, or those who secretly lust for vengeance against Croton, Milo will make certain to unleash his full ferocity, leaving no doubt as to Croton's supreme ranking. Matching up Retaining evenly paced respiration cycles, Milo advances toward the skama. With each inhalation, his muscles inflate, while his veins concurrently become ever more voluminous. Those who doubted, pointed their fingers, rolled their eyes, or spat on the ground, will soon have different stories to tell, after they experience the glory of Milo's consecrated powers. I've been waiting nearly twenty years to lay witness to this Milo of Croton Kid. One skeptic comments. Finally, replies another. We can hold those Crotonian storytellers accountable. He is the son of Diotimos, a supporter reminds. Diotimos fought off the entire Median army with his bare hands. Milo is stepping into the pit, against one challenger at a time. Do not blink. Mm. 
you are enjoying this content, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. And I'll continue to bring you more fascinating information on Milo a Croton and other great mythological and mortal figures from antiquity. I'm John Abdo, thanking you for watching. Stay strong and healthy, and perhaps one day, thousands of years from now, people then will be remembering your name as well.